symptoms. Okay. So what does the K value mean? And we're going to get more into this in the next lecture. Um, but if K is really, really big, uh, if you look at the K equation, if it's really, really big, that would mean I have larger numbers on the top, right? So I would have a lot of reactants. So that, or sorry, a lot of products. So that would mean that the products are favored. Whereas if K is really, really small, that would mean I would have much bigger numbers on the bottom. So A and B would be favored. So the reactants are favored in that case. Okay. I've got pictures of that over here. Essentially, if it's really, really small, like 10 to the negative third or smaller, I have mostly reactants. If it's 10 to the third or bigger, it's mostly products. And anything in between, I have reactants and products present. Yes, technically anything over one favors the products. Um, but if it's anything between 1,000 and 0 0.001, there's a significant amount of both reactants and products there. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. Okay. So um, last thing I want to talk about really uh, before we do some examples are changes in K. So essentially, if you know the K value, so the equilibrium constant for a specific reaction, you actually know the K value for the um, reverse reaction, and it's actually the inverse. So re if you reverse the reaction, you get inverse of K. So that would mean like whoosh, one over K. Right? So the K of this equation, which is the reverse of this one, is 1 over 0.212 and whatever that is. Okay. Now, if you multiply by a factor, so notice this is doubled from the first example, you are actually going to take the K value to that power. So power of whatever factor you multiplied by. So essentially, this was times 2. You're going to take the K value that we know, and you're going to square it. Okay. And then when you add reactions together, you don't add K values, you multiply the K values. Multiply. Okay. So if I'm adding these reactions together to get this overall reaction, I'm not adding my K values. I'm going to multiply that times 7.2 and whatever that is. I think it's 0 0.1008. Okay. So um, essentially, this is kind of like Hess's law, right? Where you have to like piece the reactions together to get the overall reaction. Um, but in Hess's law, like whatever you did to the reactant or to the reaction, you also do to the delta H. In this one, whatever you do to the equation, you actually like take it one step further, right? So if you flip it, you do the inverse. Um, if you multiply it, instead of multiplying it, you're gonna take it to that power. Um, and when you add them, instead of adding them, you're gonna multiply them. So it's kind of like one step further, okay? So K, you could actually find the equilibrium constant of a new reaction based on these, um, but it's not like adding Hess's law. You have to take the k values one step further. 